Hey, <laughs> wow. Hey, 28 stars out of like 130 or something. Doing, doing all right. Hey there, on the SoCal playing uh, Mario Super Four last stamp pack. This was one last stamp pack, and I believe I have one more star to do in World Three before it's super cleared. So let's just go ahead and get World Three done. Yeah, Blimp and Lighthouse. There's one, two, three, four, five, six of the stars, but it's so like it's black on black letters on a really dark part of the background. So yeah, we've seen that light reflection for a long time. And I think now's finally when I interact with the balloon. People have been understandably angry at me being pretty mean to these nice friendly balloons here, you know, just trying to exist, trying to have a peaceful existence. And apparently when you go on it, they move, and I just never really realized. Alright, there's a big friendly balloon, I'm gonna give it one little gasp of air. Oh wow, whoa! Well, this one just started to move, like, immediately, though. So, yeah, I need to get the lighthouse, so there we go. I'm on top of a big old pink balloon. I don't know if I can change where you go. I'm just kind of enjoying the ride. Can make the camera move like this, I guess. I don't know. Then it just burst. Okay, so was I supposed to be able to move it? I appreciate... So, ultimately, you never go inside that weird little, like, door in the... in the... in the thing, in, in the boat. Alright, so is there a way to guide the direction you move into, Mr. Balloon? Because I'm afraid I don't have my high-flying balloons. Oh, you can lean on it? You lean on it. Okay. You have full control of ballooning movements. Man, that changes everything. Man, had I realized this, you can go everywhere so much faster in this level this way. Alright, uh, I want to be just above the lighthouse and then do something stupid. I'm ashamed. I, it's, 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 that's all there is to it. I thought I was way more above, but once again, I just... Me and this game's cameras just do not agree ever on anything. It is a very, very bad relationship. But according to a lot of American media, it's like the sort of relationship you should aspire to, which is ridiculous. Alright, well, you're, you're being kind of hard to get on, so I'm just gonna give you one extra boost in case I cost you one. There we go. Alright, so... Like, I want to be further back than this, so that I can see what the heck I'm doing. And I can be more higher up than that, sadly. Okay, but this should be good, though. Look at that, just bumping right up against. Now the balloon is free to rise to the azure at its own pace. You are free from the land, friendly balloon! And finally, course three is super cleared. Course 4 is in a really stupid place. <laughs> like, how is this a level? Anyways, last time, I did not find the Kraken Cave. So there's a bunch of diamonds everywhere. But, like, where is that? It's a place with a bunch of diamonds. Alright. Is it down here? There's a bunch of diamonds here. Let's go. Whoa. Where am I? I can't tell. I really can't tell at all. So there's a red coin here. Remember that for the future, I guess. Where am I? Nobody knows. Not even me. So that's where we get the frog suit. I don't think I need it. That leads to Water Town. So let's explore in this direction where there's an awful lot of brown. Just absorb all this brown. Is this a cracking, cracking cave? I mean, it's a cave. It also doesn't lead anywhere. So there you go. I did it. I solved a puzzle. Uh, didn't jump when I pressed the button, but that's fine. I'm getting used to this in that game. This game. Oh, there it is. Here we are. Big old cave. Con Whoa. The stuff just fell. Oh, okay, so there's rocks that are going to fall. Because the cave is cracking. It's crackalicious. Okay, maybe I should have gone the. Oh, look at that. I saw that. 
Uh, this is just- okay, really? You're gonna make me swim here? <laughs> Alright. <laughs> that falling rock is just so weird, because it's so out of place. Like, it's a big ol', like, nearly orange... ...geometrical shape, uh, hanging on a very dark ceiling. The darkest ceiling this side of Minnesota. Who would want to visit here? I am not sure. Don't want to go on that islet there. Maybe. Like, that's, that's, that's my guts telling me. Check it out. I'm on a land mass. It's a mass of land. Do you know that? You need to be, like, some kind of geological genius to be able to tell the difference. So, the wall here is, like, weirdly transparent, but I think that's just a graphical goof. <laughs> not a hint of where I need to go. Alright, do I want to go on that ledge then? That ledge then! Oh yeah, there's that star, alright. Oh man, looking at different shades of brown in the dark. <laughs> now that's what I call a good time. Someone call a good time police. Yeah! We just cracked that cave right open. Let's go, Sherman. We gotta return to base and see the general. It'll give us our rice aroni for today. Spiders and Silver Stars. That's an exciting name. Um, so somewhere there's a spider cave. <laughs> Do anyone knows how to get there? Probably not by missing my gem here. Uh, I don't know, like, do I, should I explore more in the upper half? Like, I, I appreciate the zoom in there, you know, that kind of tells you, hey, look where all these stars of silver that you want to get, but I need to find out where that is. Um, because I don't know. Like, I don't recall seeing a weird, like, spider-themed area anywhere. Is it here? Like, this, this I've been to, right? Yeah, this is the water spot. With, uh, with all the mermaids. Well, maybe it's, it separates from here, though. Let's look around, I guess. I am now without dream. There's a weird big ol- Oh, it's a mermaid statue. That was like a machine. But it's not. Uh, yeah, you know, it's okay. You don't have to spend all your days on... Yes, yeah, so it's a big ol' mermaid statue. Having fun and bleeding gums. It's very unhealthy. Someone get this mermaid a dentist. Uh, so am I just retracing my steps to a weird place I won't understand again? I don't know, there's a ring of coins here though, so that's good. There's a big weird machine structure here. What's this about? A little fountain? Yep, just kind of losing myself here and there. It's all in good time. So it's not something that gets activated by running around it. I don't know, like, that's a thing in the original, so I figured. Because this is a very odd, out-of-place structure. But maybe it only activates in the future. Where can I find spiders? <laughs> that's a very good, mighty qu- uh, uh, it's not, no, I'm stuck somewhere, and I can't- there we go. I did it. Yeah, there's that cage there that I don't know what to do about. I remember seeing it. I don't have a frog suit, so I don't dare do too much. So, okay, so this weird little worm passage. So I'm trying to just look through the map there to see if I can, in the holes in the map, see if I can find any spider webs. Uh, but no such luck. Like, where else? Oh, come on, don't, don't be a jerk, please. Like, why do you need to have weird, like, weird to walk on, on, like, angle or something? Like, who does that benefit? I don't know. So that's the crack cave. I, I don't think it was, like, any... No, that's this weird nonsense cave. Alright. And... <sighs> yeah. So, I don't know, like, where to start to go at all. Is that- is that a spider web pattern? Oh, 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 this might be where you want to go. Alright, 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 here we are, I found it, the spider place. 
Let's fall up. Oh wow, and, and the thing follows me? That's pretty fancy. Okay, I'm allowed to get hit. I don't like to lose it or something. That would have been weird, but... Like, I just don't know. Like, so I'm not assuming anything. Just weird, like, just... Some rocks here. It's pretty cool. So, now the question is... Ah, come on. Just get up there, man. Really? There we go. Stick rock. Alright, so there's another spider web. Alright, I only got two. Uh, just big ol', like, giant, like, spider web. What hurt me? What? What hurt me? Oh, is it the si- Uh, something's hurting me! I don't know what it is. Is it you who are hitting me through time and space in some fashion? I mean, like, I don't mind if you did, but I mind a little bit, but I would just like to know if that was the case. Alright, the other two are like way high up there, so I need to find a way to climb up the spidery way. This is how I came here, I believe. So let's try to find a way to go up, I guess. Hey guys, you know- oh, can you maybe, like, like, hold on to it? No, it doesn't look like it, but can I go on it from here? There we go! Oh, it's weirdly sandy. That's not what I expected. Uh, can I- okay, okay, relax. RELAX! Okay, <laughs> I want to try to climb the spider web. <laughs> Duck, you slide a lot because, as you all know, spider webs are well known for being extremely slippery. Like that's the main uh, uh, strategy of spiders everywhere. A fly lands on a spider web, you know, thinking it's going to be nice, solid, and sticky to hold it. But surprise! It's super slippery, then you fall off into the waiting spider's maw. Okay, so that's not really gonna work, uh, but this is gonna work, kinda. This feels weird. Okay, and you jump weird on these, too. Alright. What? Just... okay. <laughs> I just kinda... drop through. Uh, I'm not here to ask questions. Dang it. Okay. So that was a lot- okay, that was up here. You can return, no problem. But, like, you don't? Really? How do I give it to the one that's beyond there? Okay, no, so I think my crawl idea was fine. Just don't go as high? I think it's the only thing I can think of. All, all the little silver stars, you know, they're trying to, to fight for attention here. It's really cute. Like, if I just know, it won't let me cross over there. Yeah, it doesn't let me do that. Um, um uh, here you stop being on the web because video games. Okay, yeah, here there's a very clear little transpose part. There you go. Doesn't need to be complicated. And then we got ourselves a big goofy yellow star formed by less goofy silver stars. There we go. Okay. Alright, this could have gone better. I made a lot of interpretive uh, mistakes, but you know, that's what dancing is all about. It's making mistakes, but then arguing that they were not mistakes.